Today is Wednesday, Parashat Kedoshim. Parashat this week, uh, Hashem tells Moshe, speak to the whole congregation of the Jewish people and tell them, be holy. How can a person be holy? And then the mitzvot, many of the mitzvot in the parashat this week have to do with how you relate to other people, to care for others, to leave uh, gifts for the poor in your field when you harvest, to make sure that you pay employees in ta- on time, to make sure not to cheat another person, even to be careful how you speak to others, not to hurt them with words. Parashat this week tells us the famous uh, quote of... Uh, Lotikom, the pasuk lotikom ve lotitor, don't don't take revenge, don't bear grudge towards someone. Ve ahavta lereacha kamocha, you shall love your neighbor just as yourself. And the Akiva says, "Zeklal gadol b'Torah." This is a great principle of the Torah. Ve ahavta lereacha kamocha. So we see that many mitzvot in the parasha that tells us to be holy has to do even how we relate to, or most importantly, how we relate to others. Even there is a, a mitzvah here, lo tisna, hecha do not hate your brother in your heart. In other words, even if you do nothing wrong to the person physically, just harboring bad feelings towards someone is something that is not allowed. And this is how a person can be reaching the status of being holy. Also, lo do not be a gossip monger. Be careful not to speak uh, to speak gloss, gossip. All these mitzvot, Ben Adam, a chavero between man and his fellow man, as they're observed, is someone that can bring a person to the status of holiness. But the parasha also, towards the end of the parasha, tells us about the, the sanctity of marriage and married life, to have that aspect also in terms of kedusha. And that's why when a person gets married, we say it's kiddushin, kiddushin, to, to be, to sanctify, because that union is a sanctified union, and the parasha speaks also rules that have to do with that. There's also another aspect about kiddushah, about holiness, which is restraint. Kadesh atzmach bamutalach, even those things that you're permitted, that you're permitted to do, or to have, or to have, show restraint in them. If you could eat the most kosher food there is, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a gluttonous person and eat more than is necessary because that restraint is also connected to the idea to the idea of Kedoshim, that you should be Kadosh, you should be holy. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen Ve'Amen.